Hey guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about all the drama that's once again going on with Zendaya Coleman. So what went down is that this past Sunday, Zendaya was on the red carpet at the Oscars and she had dreadlocks in her hair and she looked stunning. But of course, the people on the East Fashion Police, they thought otherwise. And Juliana Rancic decided to say that Zendaya looked like she smelled like patchouli oil and possibly weed. Now, why did this bitch say that? When she said that, when I tell y'all she felt the wrath of black Twitter real damn quick, folks started going in on Juliana. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these tweets and comments. Check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Alright, so you guys just saw all the tweets and the comments. So after all this drama went down on Twitter, Zendaya decided to release the following statement to address the situation. Check out what Zendaya had to say and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Alright, so you guys just read Zendaya's entire statement and kudos to Zendaya for being very mature for her age. She recently just turned 18 and everything she stated in that Instagram post was the truth. There are so many people who have dreadlocks who are beautiful and people automatically, you know, assume that dreads mean that you smoke weed, you're a Rastafarian. People love to attach negativity to dreadlocks, hence why they call them dreadlocks because they saw them as dreadful. That's why I tend to call them locks and not dreadlocks. So kudos to Zendaya for putting Juliana Rancic in her place. That 18 year old showed more class and resilience than Juliana Rancic did. Now a few things bother me with this story. One, Juliana wants to talk about how Zendaya looks like she smells like weed but yet and still this bra's walking around here the size of a damn crackhead. Now if you guys ever watch E's Fashion Police, if you guys ever see her on E, you know with Terrence and stuff like that, she's always crying about how folks make fun of her for being skinny and she's always talking about skinny shaming because we all know she had cancer and she's a cancer survivor and she had lost a lot of weight. So I don't understand why on the fashion police, most of the folks who are critiquing, who has so much to say about everybody else, they're not the most attractive people in Hollywood. And they come off as bitter and insecure. It's like, how much more disrespectful can you get? You know what I'm saying? This girl is there. She's carrying herself with class, but you want to go in on her hair. But then the funny thing is when Kylie Jenner decided to get, you know, dreadlock extensions in her hair, Juliana and everybody on E was saying that it's trendy, it's hip, it's chic. So you notice that when white folks get braids, when white folks get dreadlocks, it's always trendy, it's always cute. And like I said in previous videos, people have the right to wear their hair however they want to. I don't care if you're black, white, or other. You can wear your hair in any style that you choose. But I hate the fact that when it's a white girl who does something it's cute it's edgy it's fashionable but when a black girl does something she gets flack like this Juliana should be ashamed of herself don't sit here and preach sisterhood don't sit here and preach about people shaming people but then you want to shame this young girl now the second thing that bothered me like I always say the internet is full of hypocrisy and I swear the internet especially Twitter is bipolar as hell now when it was first announced that Zendaya was gonna be playing the part of Aaliyah in the new Aaliyah biopic I was one of the few youtubers one of the few vlogs who defended her who said you know what you guys should not be going in on this girl she's 17 years old nobody can help how they're born she has no control over her complexion or her, or her ethnicity any more than I do you know so folks were knocking her 
her saying that she was too light to play Aaliyah, that it wasn't okay, Aaliyah wasn't biracial, you know, Hollywood is whitewashing these roles. Now, I understood that part about, you know, Hollywood, you know, constantly going with the lighter skinned people and going with biracial people. I understood that. But if you guys go back and watch the video, those tweets against Zendaya were so nasty. They were so rude in my damn Nene Leaks voice. Folks went in on her as if Zendaya had something to do with the casting. All she did was just go ahead and audition and she got picked. People went in on her skin tone, people went in on her hair texture, so much so that the girl decided to walk away from the project, which I'm glad that she did because the project completely bombed. And then I had to check Zendaya really quick in my Aaliyah uh, biopic review because then she tried to go in on Alexandra's shit. And my thing is don't throw stones because you know how it feels to be bullied and picked on by the internet. So don't do that to Alexandra's shit. So I say that to say this, a lot of times when we're harsh, with other people of color when we go in on you know on our own then other races feel like it's okay for them to do so as well and i feel like that's why juliana rancic tried it with zendaya because so many black folks went in on zendaya went in on her hair went in on her complexion all because she was cast for the leah biopic so that's why i say black people need to stand together at the end of the day it doesn't matter how light you are how loose your hair texture is Folks still see you as black, and this is a perfect example. When it came to Zendaya, Juliana Rancic did not see her as a biracial girl. She did not see her as white. She saw her as a little black girl who possibly smelled like weed. When she saw Kylie Jenner, she saw her as a white girl who was being edgy and trendy. So that's why I say we have to treat our own with respect, because then when we're sitting here disrespecting our own, then other people feel like they have the right to do it as well. And I get so tired of the hypocrisy. Not everybody wants to jump on the Zendaya bandwagon and have her back again. Juliana but then again these same folks on Twitter making memes about Zendaya going in on her and everything else so I'm glad that Zendaya handled the situation like an adult I'm glad that Zendaya you know basically dropped some jewels on Juliana's ass Zendaya was very tactful you know what I'm saying in her response instead of losing her emotions that's what you call having emotional self-control she read her for the filth without being nasty and without being rude so anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Zendaya and the whole Juliana Rancid comments. Do you feel like Juliana was sincere in her apology? Um, and then, um, do you feel like Juliana was sincere in her apology when she apologized? And then how do you feel about how the mainstream media treats dreadlocks when it comes to black people or people of color as opposed to when white people had dreadlocks? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces.